Welcome to Geometry. This is Unit 4, and this is Section 4. And today we're going to start talking about the Triangle Inequality Theorem. You got that? The Triangle Inequality Theorem. So the triangle inequality theorem says this, the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. So you'll see here we've got segment PQ in red and segment QR in blue and segment PR in green. So no matter what two sides you have, you have they must add up to more than the third side, right? Um, the one of the things I do tell students in working with this is that you're going to have three lengths. One's going to be large, one may be smaller, and then one may be the smallest, right? Or small, middle, and large values. So the small plus the middle must be more than the large, and the large minus the middle must be less than the smallest. So let's put this into practice here and we'll take a look at this. If, is it possible to form a triangle with the given side lengths? And if not, explain why not. Okay, so we can look at this set of values here and we see that 8 plus 15, well, that's going to be more than 17, right? That's 23. And then 17 minus 15 is going to be less than 8. Okay, so that's how you can do these mathematically. So on the first one, yes. This is a big yes. So we'll say yes here. We'll put a Y and we'll circle it. Okay, and this one, 6, 8, 14. Well, 6 plus 8 equals 14. It's not greater than 14. So this would be a big fat no. 15, 16, and 30, right? Well, 15 plus 16 is 31, and that's greater than 30, so there's a yes. And 30 minus 16 is less than 15. Right? So that's also a yes. So this would be a nice big yes. 2, 8, and 11. Well, we can see right off the bat 2 plus 8 is not more than 11. So this is going to be a big fat no. Okay, so we're going to work on what's known as a restriction problem now. So a restriction problem, we are given two sides of the triangle and a variable for the third. And they're asking you to come up with an inequality that says, hey, what is the, where do these values, what are the values of X have to be between? So it's a pretty simple problem actually. So the first thing we know is that the two sides added together have to be more than x, right? So we would say x must be less than 7 plus 3, right? That's what the rule says, right? I just wrote it in a little different direction, and that'll make sense shortly. So x has got to be less than 10. But... 7 minus 3 also needs to be less than x. So now we're going to end up with 4 is less than x. So the restriction on this is going to be that 
4 must be less than x, which will be less than 10. So this is the type of inequality they're looking for in this type of problem. Okay, now here's a little opportunity for you to try it. So you go ahead and take a moment and come up with your inequality. All right, so again, same process, right? We have n and 13 and 9. So we know that n must be less than... 9 plus 13. So that's going to be n is less than 22. 13 minus 9 must be less than n. Well, we know now that n must be less than 4. So our inequality is going to be Oop, I got that backwards. Oh, yeah, I do have that backwards. Wow. Let's fix that. 4 must be less than n. <laughs> oh, boy. So, 4 must be less than n, which is less than 22. We're not done. Now we're going to talk about inequalities in two triangles. Two triangles with inequalities. That's twice as unfair. You know what else is good? This is great because you get geometry and comedy. You get twice what you're looking for. No, maybe not. This is called a scissors jack. So how this works is that you attach a piece to this little area here. It's got a hook and it's kind of like a, uh, shaped in a way that you can easily crank it. And basically this spins, right? So it spins around like so. And it will either push these apart, which lowers the jack, or pull them together if you go the opposite way and raise the jack. And um, you might actually have one of these in your car. And my animation doesn't work. Hmm. Anyway, there's some animation that you can see here. Uh, it'll be on the PowerPoint. Okay, the hinge theorem. What this says is if you have two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the angle in between is not equal. What we can figure out from this is this value here in the red one, right? So if measure of angle A is greater than measure of angle F, so we have 43 degrees here, right? So this is larger, this is smaller then 
this is larger, and this is smaller. That's all they're saying. Okay, so if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle and the third side of one triangle is longer than the third side of the second, then that well, then the included angle measure of the first triangle is greater than the included angle measure of the second. It's a long way of saying this. This is larger. This is the larger one. This is smaller, right? Keeping in mind that these are congruent, right? So that being the case, this angle R is larger and this angle L is smaller. Okay, that's all this is saying.